This is Salisbury Fire Department's Training Minutes. David Haynes, Training Captain for the Salisbury Fire Department. We're continuing on with some hydraulics training minute videos here. And uh, this time we're going to be discussing the coefficient method for calculating friction loss. In previous Training Minute videos, we addressed the formula above here, which is the formula that we would use to calculate our pump discharge pressure. We outlined all of the elements that we would have to account for to achieve that pump discharge pressure. And then depending on our role in the fire ground, we talked about where that could change to a nozzle uh, pressure to a residual pressure depending on the situation, the friction loss, any devices or appliances, and any head pressure or elevation changes that we would have to deal with. So as a pump operator, always a good memory jogger, be aware of those four elements and be able to account for them to ensure that you get to a proper uh, pump discharge pressure. So the previous training minutes, we focused mainly on the Q squared or the hand method, and then the user-friendly fire ground hydraulics. And then today we're going to be talking about the coefficient method. So with the coefficient method, here's your formula that you would plug in to your friction loss. So that formula to use the coefficient is friction loss equals C Q squared L. The C is the coefficient. The Q squared is your gallon per minute flow squared. And then your L is your length of hose. And both the flow or the Q and the L are divided by 100 before they're multiplied in that formula. Uh, the disadvantage to the coefficient formula is that it requires, if you're going to use that in a fire ground, a calculator. Because you're going to end up with a little stricter math. And then, uh, but if you pre-plan your engine based on the coefficients that you have, uh, you'll be able to have that preset pressure on a pumps chart or a discharge chart somewhere in your, on your apparatus. So coefficient method, getting to friction loss. Any method that you use to calculate friction loss, you need to account for the flow, the size, and the length of hose. So we're going to do the same thing here. Uh, as far as the coefficients, if you use some preset numbers. Uh, these are some generic coefficients that came out of most text, the IFSTA text or the uh, NFPA text. Uh, inch and a half hose, the coefficient is 24. Inch and three quarter, the coefficient is 15.5. The two inch hose is eight. Two and a half inch hose is two. Three inch hose with two and a half inch couplings is 0.8. Four inch hose is 0.2 and then 5 inch hose is 0 .08. So either hose size that you use, it doesn't matter in the coefficient method if it's an attack line or a supply line, all you're doing is plugging in that number to that formula to get your friction loss. In the event that it's an attack engine, this would stay a nozzle pressure plus your friction loss number. If it was a supply or relay engine, your residual pressure of 50 plus the end result that you came up with here, to get your pump discharge pressure. So coefficient, the formula would stay the same. All right, so the example that we're going to use here is a two and a half inch attack line, 250 feet long with a solid stream nozzle. So solid stream hand line, our nozzle pressure is a given. That's going to be 50 pounds. We can go ahead and plug that in there. And as good pump operators, we're going to account for all four elements. We don't have any devices or any head pressure or elevation changes to worry about in this example, so we'll go ahead and account for those to make sure we remember to, zero and zero. And that leaves us with the friction loss. So, CQ squared L, flow size and length. So the flow on our 250 foot, two and a half inch hose line, we're gonna use a number of 250 gallons a minute. So the flow, 250 gallons a minute. The size of hose, two and a half, and the length, 250. So we plug all these numbers in this formula, C, Q squared, and L, and the Q and the L are divided by 100. So the C, coefficient for two and a half inch hose is two. So FL equals, the C is two. The Q squared part, Quantity squared in gallon per minute is 250 gallons a minute. Divide that by 100, you get 2.5. And 
and then the length, 250 feet, also divided by 100, 2.5. So there, the first step in the middle, we're going to square that 2.5. I'll get my handy calculator out here. And we're going to end up with 6.25. So 2.5 squared, the Q squared part of this, 250 gallons a minute, divided by 100, 2.5. Square of that is 6.25. And then that remaining formula is what we use to get our friction loss. So 2 times 6.25 times 2.5. 31.25. So the total friction loss using the coefficient method from the discharge to the nozzle using the coefficient of 2 gallon per minute at 250, length of 250 feet, 31.25. So we'll plug that up here in our friction loss. Add those two together because there's no devices and no head pressure, so we end up with 81.25 pounds pump discharge pressure. We'll do one more example. And this time we're going to change our hose size and use inch and three quarter. So, same engine, we'll keep the same length, and we'll keep the same nozzle. Our nozzle pressure being the same, if it's a solid stream hand line, 50 pounds. We're going to change that from two and a half to inch and three quarter. And then our inch and three quarter coefficient is 15.5. So friction loss using the coefficient method, C Q squared L. The C part of that is 15.5. And then we know the length of 250 feet. We know what that's going to end up being. We just need to know our flow. So with our inch and three quarter hose lines, our inch and three quarter hose line with a solid stream nozzle is a 15 16 tip. Uh, we're going to estimate it will be 185 gallons a minute at 50 pounds. We're going to say 175. So 1.75. And we divide that by 100, and then our length, 250 feet divided by 100, 2.5. And this is squared. So we go back to our calculator here. 1.75 times 1.75 will give us 3.06. And this is the thing with these coefficient methods, you end up with much stricter numbers. And then 15.5 times that times 2.5. So we'll do that real quick here on the calculator, see what we come up with. We end up with 118.67. is what I left it at. 15.5 times that times 2.5 gave me 118.67. So plug that in up there. And then we add the 50 to it for the nozzle pressure. 168.67. So that's today's training minute. Use the coefficient method. That's a quick two examples of that formula using inch and three quarter hose and using two and a half inch hose. The only thing that would change if you use that would be the hose size, a different coefficient, 
and then whether or not you were adding a nozzle pressure or residual pressure, and which, which number that would be. So that's today's training minute, coefficient method for determining friction loss. Thank you. Thank you for watching Salisbury Fire Department's Training Minutes.